Wow, what happened in this room? It looks like an antique shop exploded. Please don't use words like exploded in the White House. It makes us kind of edgy. Uh, the word was well chosen. What you see here is the handiwork of your dear friend, uh, Professor Barrett. He left many rooms in a similar state of chaos. Well, he does tend to spread out while he works. Miranda Hunt, meet Ronald R. Chow, White House curator. You'll be working together from now on. I don't understand. What was Henry doing here? Uh, Professor Barrett volunteered his services to the curator's office to help us find and catalog important artifacts that have been misplaced over the years. I guess with 6,000 visitors a day, not to mention all the reconstruction efforts, it makes sense that a few things have gotten lost. Well, I'm, I'm glad you understand. Unfortunately, he vanished before he could complete his work and left things in such a sorry state that we had to close the White House to the public. Fortunately, your background in history and your tutelage under Professor Barrett makes you the ideal candidate to continue his work. What? Oh, no. Look, all I want to do is find Henry and go home. And what better way to find him than to retrace his steps, hmm? But... Face it, Miranda. You're the best person for the job. This isn't actually a request, honey. I will provide you with lists of missing items. And when you're done, give me a call and I'll send you another one. Do I have a choice? No. no.
That's her. Of course it is. Hello, Miranda. I couldn't wait to meet you. You know who I am? You're Felix Whitaker, Secretary of the Treasury. That's right. But I'm more than that to you. I also happen to be your benefactor. You see, our friend Mr. Chow here doesn't think you belong in the White House. I had to convince him to work with you at all. I'm shocked. She's going to break something. I just know it. And the Secret Service? They would have arrested you had I not intervened. You have me to thank for the high level of clearance you currently enjoy. Okay. Thank you, I guess. So, why are you helping me? I want you to track down your missing professor, of course. He was here at my invitation, and I feel responsible for whatever it is that happened to him. I truly hope you find him, Miranda. Good luck. Just remember, if you cause any damage during your search, I won't cover for you in the slightest. In fact, I'll feign ignorance. Yeah, I bet you're really good at that. Hey, are you okay? I've been calling. Sorry, Stella. Things have been kind of, well, hectic. Doesn't really sound the right word. Surreal? Frantic? Forget it. I have to make up a new word. I'm feeling serantic. Very serantic. Okay, so what the heck happened to you? Oh, right. The Secret Service kind of yanked me off the street and threw me in a car. Whoa, did they arrest you or what? No, they put me to work as a matter of fact. I'm at the White House. Henry Barrett disappeared somewhere in this building and I intend to find him. The White House? What? Did he wander away from his tour group or something? Not this time. I think he was looking for something. And whatever it was, must have been pretty important. Because other people want it too. I think he's in real danger. Sorry to hear that. I know you two are pretty close. He's like a crazy uncle to me. I've known him since I was a kid. He and my mother used to go on expeditions together. He was there when she was... lost. <laughs> Being near him makes me feel closer to her, somehow. Oh man, I didn't realize. I just thought he liked you because, you know, you actually paid attention in his class. I'm the only one who pays attention in his class. I need to find him, Stella. I can't lose him, too. I'm sure he'll turn up. Call me back if you find out anything. Sure. I'll call you later.
defacing White House property, huh? You are making quite a name for yourself, Miranda. Actually, I was named for Prospero's daughter from The Tempest. My mother was a big Shakespeare buff. The name means worthy of admiration. Is that right? Well, Miranda also happens to be the term we use for reading a suspect her rights. As in, you have the right to remain silent. Yeah, zip it and let's go. Mr. Chow has some questions for you. You've caused extensive damage to the fireplace in the Red Room. I don't understand. You're a good student with exemplary grades and an obvious love for history, yet you purposefully deface America's most important landmark. People in the present are more important than things from the past. My friend Henry is still out there, and his life is at stake. I have to do whatever it takes to find him. I guess you're gonna arrest me now. That hidden room you found behind the fireplace, it's an extraordinary find. To be completely honest, I'm grateful. What? Really, sir, please. You're lucky, young lady. Screw up again, and we'll throw the Patriot Act at you. Thank you, Mr. Chow. 